guys, I'm Carrie and I'm the fashion merchandiser for Zumba Wear. Hi, I'm Melanie and I'm one of the designers of Zumba Wear. We hope you liked the article, Rip, Recycle, and Reuse, in our first issue of Z-Life magazine. We were inspired by some of our amazing and creative Zin members. Just to show you guys how easy it is to recreate these designs, we put step-by-step -step instructions with pictures on the Z-Life website. Those were more beginner designs. This one's a little bit more advanced, so we hope this video helps you get it perfect. This design we like to call the weave design. Right, right here we put it into a V, but you can get a little bit creative once you get a little bit more comfortable, like the one Melanie's wearing. She did the V design with the heart also, which is featured on the website as well. And then when you're feeling really comfortable, you can do what I did, which is a double V, weave twice on the top and on the bottom. So let's get started. All you really need to do this project is the t-shirt that you want to cut up, a sharp pair of scissors, any pair of scissors will work as long as they've never been cut on paper. And a scrap piece of ribbon, fabric, whatever you decide to tie at the bottom. To lay the shirt flat, I just want to I just want to cut on the back. So, I'm going to align the seams right here. Just like this, to the top and the bottom. Make sure they're perfectly aligned. And then make sure that the shirt is really flat on the flat surface. Folding it this way will make sure that all of my cuts are really even when I open the shirt. And if you don't feel comfortable cutting freehand, you can get a piece of chalk and make the line of your design first. And once you're done cutting, you can just wash it away with water. Okay, so I'm gonna start right here on the bottom seam and make a small cut. And then every half inch, I'm gonna just cut a little bit more to create that V. This is where it helps to have your scissors really sharp because if they're not, when you're cutting like this, it's gonna leave really jagged edges and it's gonna look kind of funky when you're done. This weave, you can do in any shape. It really depends on how you cut it. As you can see right now, the V is already starting to take shape. So if I wanted to do just a regular box, I could just have them all cut evenly. I'm going to do about two more right here. Then, you lay it out flat. And all I'm going to do now is pull on each of the strings until they curl under a little bit. You want to do each string individually because if you don't, they're not all going to be as stretch out as they should be in order to weave the shirt. Now this next step of weaving, you can do flat on the table, but it works a lot easier if you use a friend. Okay, now you're ready to weave. You're gonna grab the first two strips. You're gonna take the second one, put it over the first one, and pull it under. You're gonna do the same with the next one. You're gonna put it over, and pull it under. As you start weaving, you can fix your strips. And make sure they're aligned evenly. Get the next one, put it over, pull it under. Next one over, under. And fix as you go down. The next one over, pull it under. Over. And when you get to the last piece, you're gonna take your scrap and anchor it down. You can tie a few scraps, you can tie ribbons. I'll make a little bow. And that's it. And now that you know how to weave, go out and impress all of your friends and just have fun.